the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption would not only ruin vacation plans, it would send shockwaves around the world, altering landscapes, weather patterns, and possibly changing the course of human civilization. It would speed up the time for animals that could soon become extinct, leading to one of the most significant climate impacts of our lifetime. The geological time bomb has yet to go off. Scientists who monitor Yellowstone Volcano Belly consistently report. Exploring the offers a fascinating glimpse into the Earth's raw power. But what does it really mean for humans? It may be time to take a closer look at what would happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts. Forget the best beach towns on the Gulf Coast after the Yellowstone volcano erupted. When volcanoes go berserk, they don't just spew lava. They launch atmospheric assaults. Yellowstone will spew millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, creating a planet-wide sunscreen. This won't be a minor weather disruption, like when smaller volcano erupted. Skies will be darkened for years, dropping global temperatures by unknown amounts. Farmers around the world will watch in horror as growing seasons shrink or disappear altogether. When people think of volcanic eruptions, lava usually takes center stage. But with a Yellowstone eruption, ash will be the real star of the apocalyptic show. The eruption will send an estimated 240 cubic miles of crushed rock, dust, and volcanic glass into the atmosphere. Even areas thousands of miles away could see inches of ash fall. Volcanic ash is essentially shards of glass and tiny rocks that can damage machinery, contaminate water supplies, and cause serious respiratory problems. The most beautiful mountains in the U.S. will be covered in thick, hasty ash. The epicenter of the Yellowstone supervolcano eruption will redefine the concept of extreme change. The current Yellowstone caldera, a national park volcano, and a peaceful depression 34 by 50 miles wide that draws millions of visitors each year would effectively disappear. The explosion would begin with a series of increasingly powerful earthquakes as the magma pushed upward. Then, like the popping of the world's largest champagne cork, the land would break in a massive explosion that would be heard thousands of miles away. Pyroclastic flows high-speed currents of superheated volcanic gas and material would obliterate everything within a 60-mile radius. These flows would not just be hot. Temperatures would reach over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, instantly vaporizing all organic matter. The iconic geysers, prismatic pools, and roaming bison that are Yellowstone's trademark would be gone in an instant. After the Yellowstone eruption, flights would be grounded as the apocalypse unfolded. The airline industry worldwide would shut down as fine ash particles spread through the atmosphere. Yellowstone eruption would create a no-fly zone over much of North America for months, perhaps years. The Yellowstone eruption would not end human civilization, 
despite the catastrophic scenarios outlined above. Unlike an asteroid impact or nuclear war, a supervolcano eruption occurs relatively slowly, with warning signs likely appearing years before the big event. 